Good evening. Patrice Dayton has the night off. We have new details involving a local motel where a registered sex offender was arrested earlier this week. Police took him into custody following an alleged incident where he lured a five-year-old girl into the room where he was living. News 10's John Swanner spoke with Vigo County's chief deputy. In tonight's top story, John tells us more about a one-of-a-kind deal this motel has in place with the state of Indiana. John? Well, as we first reported Wednesday, Mike, Terre Haute police say Timothy Blazier was living at the Econo Lodge. We learned he's not the only sex offender living here, and this motel may be contracted with the state to house sex offenders coming off prison sentences. Timothy Blazier was convicted of molesting an eight and a three year old in Fountain County back in 2007. Later, Clinton County also convicted him for failing to register as a sex offender. Now he's in Vigo County's jail for criminal confinement, and police say the alleged incident happened here at the Ocona Lodge. And a family had uh, got off the interstate and was staying at the hotel, and there were some children out playing uh, in, a, in a play area there, and he lured one of the children into his hotel room. Fresh off his prison sentence, Blazier was living at the Ocona Lodge. Police say the girl's screams led to her escape from Blazier's room, where police found her pants. News 10 learned Blazier is not the only registered sex offender staying at this motel. According to the Indiana Sex Offender Registry, there are currently 13 registered sex offenders living here at the Econo Lodge. Eight of those sex offenders are listed as sexual violent predators. The Vigo County Sheriff's Department is responsible for tracking all sex offenders in the county. Chief Deputy Clark Cottom told us the Econo Lodge has an agreement with the State Department of Corrections to house sex offenders coming off prison sentences. To our knowledge, it's the only hotel in the state of Indiana that is accepting sex offenders. Cottom says the motel fits the requirements for a residence of a registered sex offender. Mainly, the Econo Lodge is not within 1,000 feet of a school or park, but it does welcome visitors to Terre Haute. Visitors who most likely wouldn't think a sex offender would live here, let alone 13. Add one more thing to your list that we're going to have to check now. Certainly some interesting details there. Now, Cottom says this is just another reason why it's a good idea to consistently check the Indiana Sex Offender Registry. You can even sign up to receive email alerts, and it's completely confidential. We've linked you on our website, WTHITV.com. Mike, back to you. All right, thank you very much, John, reporting on that developing story.